It will be two years ago tomorrow when Mayor Curry said all the Confederate monuments in Jacksonville need to come down. Yet today, only part of one monument has been removed. City Council members are going to take up the divisive issue again on Tuesday, but today two members met trying to come together on opposite sides. News for Jack's reporter Jim Piggott was at that meeting where a controversial monument still stands, now uncovered. When we saw this Confederate soldier atop the monument across from City Hall come down two years ago, many thought it meant a change in Jacksonville. That soldier has since been put away in storage, but the pedestal remains, which for some is a reminder of what once stood here. Today, Angelina Moss was here with her son and cousin playing in the shadow of that monument, and I asked her how she felt about that. I feel like the entire purpose of the Confederacy was built on racism, and I feel like to continue to glorify it is just continuing racism. John Frazier was also at the park with his family. It's part of your ancestry's history, and that's what I look at it as not as a hate monument, anything else. I look at it as, as part of my history. Should they stay? Yes. It's a debate that has divided Jacksonville. City Councilman Matt Carlucci says the city needs to follow through with its promise. He held a meeting today with another council member, Michael Boylan. Carlucci is pushing his resolution that would have the mayor follow through with his promise. Carlucci wants to budget a half million dollars to take down the statue at Springfield Park and the remaining pedestal at James Weldon Johnson Park. Now, I asked Carlucci why he's so passionate to act right now. Knowing how race relations, where they are today, are holding our city back from propelling into a better future. And we've got to understand how other people feel and the hurt and the pain that they feel about these monuments when other people like myself may walk past it it doesn't make a bit of difference. And it appears the city council, including Michael Boylan, is heading in a different direction. They would like to see more public meetings, more talks with historians and negotiators before deciding what to do. Boylan believes taking down the statues now would be a mistake. I believe they need to stay up and be used as the kind of tool that can teach my children and my grandchildren and those thereafter about what it was like to live in Jacksonville in 1950, 1915, or 1860. Even though some groups find that so oppressive and hurtful that they are still up. I think it can be an expression for that group who find it hurtful. It's an opportunity for them to talk about the hurt they still feel from it. Carlucci knows it's going to be a tough fight on Tuesday as the council will take up the issue to act now or later. You know the debate's not only going to be here at City Hall next week, but this weekend here at James Weldon Johnson Park, there are going to be protesters out here, take them down Jacksonville, who are going to be expressing their anger that they're still up and other racial issues here in Jacksonville. We're live from City Hall, Jim Piggott, Channel 4, The Local Station.